This could be a problem for us. Francisco Trincao, probably one of our best prospects, his value is almost the same as his release clause. Any big club wanting a right winger would look at this and say it's a bargain. This is the time where things could go horribly wrong for us and big clubs could ruin everything we're building. And we really can't do much about it. We just got to be careful. Players like Adama have got release clause. Ruben Neves is another scary one. Oh, it's That's the challenge of this series. We can't really new their contracts at least this season it's gonna be a nightmare to hang on to all of them hopefully we can add to the fact that we are playing conference league football it's uh yeah not a good look for us but huh, we'll see how things go hopefully no release loss gets paid in this episode we need to start focusing up on the premier league because we've got a real shot at the title by the looks of things just a couple of points off spurs we got to keep pushing i reckon in this episode we're gonna make a fair bit of progress probably get up until the month of december a lot of grinding in this one and if you are enjoying the Wolves career mode keep the support coming in drop a like subscribe and let's begin already the press conference discussion is about one of our stars leaving I think you should prepare for the departure of Ruben Neves because his release clause of 150 is 160 million and if he keeps growing at this rate he'll be a bargain by the January window I think we're still safe for Ruben Neves this season but remember guys we'll have to wait until maybe the third season before we can renew him again I think by then his valuation is going to near the release clause and a club could unlock it. So it's all about just hanging on to these players for now, but hopefully no club pays his value. I think we're, we're safe with Ruben Neves until the end of this season at least, so I'm not too worried about him. Ooh, this is interesting. The decision to save 30 million for January was a great decision since Trinkau's release clause is definitely getting paid and with that 10% sell-on clause, it wouldn't have left you with much of a budget for replacement. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'm super glad we've got about 35 million good wage budget in case that think our release clause gets paid we can go all in on a world-class right winger so i'm happy that we've planned in such a way but of course let's hope think our release clause doesn't get paid i guess because that value for him is a bargain next up change gallagher and braganza's positions around since gallagher's right footed and braganza's left footed it's actually a good shot probably better for you know maybe scoring a few long shots with them although i do prefer having braganza on the right side so he can cut in and supply the through balls to Pedro Neto, but we'll try this out. Later the episode for this one, we're going with Adama Traore. I thought last episode he really showed what he's all about. Actually, I think this season you can make an argument he's been better than Trincao. So fair play, scored a goal in the last one, and in general, really, really utilized this pace in a great way for us. And let's hope we can keep this up. Now that I just saw Adama Traore win later the episode, I'm just wondering between him and Trincao, who's actually having the better season? Adama with three goals in 10 games, Trincao with just two in 12 clearly adama is doing a bit better Trinka, of course has got the bigger ceiling more potential but let's say if Trinkao's release clause gets paid is that even that bad of a thing because he's still just pulling the same numbers or lesser numbers than adama we'd maybe be better off buying a better right winger so huh i'm just I, i'm not so sure of course if we could sell Trinka, we'd probably get 70 80 million so the fact that we could lose him out for like 45 is a bit of a problem Problem, but we'll see when that happens. We now have a game against Reading at home, which we are going to simulate with our first team, and it's a perfect result. 5-0 Connor Gallagher scoring Ronaldo with a brace. Just what do you want to see? I do find it funny how literally no release clause of our players have been paid so far. I think a lot of them are really good values, so we've been very lucky in that department so far. I'm making squad rotations, but not as much as before, because we need to win this conference league game. If we don't, problem but we get the job done that's crucial three points in the conference league look at that top of the conference league table just where we want to be and now the grind begins in this world series we're up against manchester city pep guardiola city now this is going to be a challenge a real real challenge and we're playing them away at the etihad oh boy is this going to be tricky but if we can win this we go above man city in the league i'm i, I kid you not we're looking like genuine contenders especially if we can beat city here who says we're not title contenders also Inacio is looking not fully fit but you know what I want that pace for this game so I'm gonna play Botman and Inacio together that's gonna be the back line we're going for happy with that midfield and attack also kind of want Adam Traore to start because he's been in great form let's make the most of it that's gonna be the team we're using against Manchester City away we should also use the yellow kits I just prefer that guys no big reason but I just
just do. We're gonna use that. I'm sure Ronaldo is... Okay, why didn't that kid change work? All right, there you go. I'm sure Cristiano is in the mood to score against City. At least hopefully he will be. Oh, Braganza on that right side. Oh yeah, I was gonna switch sides with Braganza and Conor Gallagher. Maybe we'll try that in the second half and see how that works. Against Manchester City, don't really want to experiment. Braganza going for goal. Tell you what, that was a decent attempt. I keep trying set pieces, hoping that one day they work, but they just never do. But Conor Gallagher going for goal. Falls perfectly for Ronaldo. He couldn't make the most of it. That was a chance. Adama linking up very well with Cristiano Ronaldo. What a chance. Goes for goal and drives it home. Cristiano Ronaldo gets it done against Manchester City. This man is simply incredible. Celebrates with the Wolves fans that are travelling to, of course, Manchester. It's 1-0 against City. And for him to score against the team that I'm probably sure he loves to score against because of his Man United pass, puts this one in the back of the net. Ronaldo driving it home and Wolves lead 1-0. I'm telling you all, this season, we're not pretenders. We're looking like contenders. And Dogan... That's good defending from Bortman. Tell you what, overall our defending has been solid. Connor Gallagher, they're fighting for the badge. That was some good defensive stuff after we messed up keeping the ball. You guys want me to test out switching them around and let's do that. So Connor Gallagher on the right side and Braganzo on the left. Let's see how that works. Looking for Cristiano Ronaldo. First touch was good, but the second one took too much time there. Cleared away by, of course, City. That's a very good ball for Kevin De Bruyne. He's going to probably look for that cutback, but we've dealt with that so well. Was that Botman? I think it was. As that was a rough challenge, but we still managed to play out from that really well. No, we don't. City get the ball back, but we're defending very well in this game. We must give the team that. Phil Foden is not an easy player to deal with. Look at Conor Gallagher tracked back and helping out. That is perfect from him. Royce, back for Phil Foden. Good defending, Nelson Smedo. Adam is there. What was he trying to do? It's, well, surprisingly actually worked. And now Adam Atrari can drive it forward. We know how quick he is, but... Kyle Walker is just as quick. Ferran Torres going to be a Barca player in real life, by the way. As we get the ball away from him and Ronaldo now. Oh, that was that actually worked. Pedro Neto, incredible dribbling from him. How has he managed to pull that off? Pedro Neto, difficult angle. Goes for it. He deserved to go for that after that run. Seems frustrated with himself, but that was a stunning save from Edison because that was going in. We've got Ruben Neves with the delivery. It's looking decent, but... Yeah, I should just give up. One day, maybe I will score off a corner. Phil Foden. Now, Gabriel Jesus. That's very, very good defending from us. Love to see it. De Bruyne. Phil Foden going for goal. And that's Manchester City's equaliser. When you got Phil Foden, a player as magical as him, something out of nothing might just happen. And that's exactly what he's done to help out Pep Guardiola's team. It's 1 1. Oh, Ronaldo, and there's a bit of space here. If he's got the pace, surely he can beat Kyle Walker, who looks tired there. Ronaldo, and he's managed to score in the 87th minute. Cristiano Ronaldo is the man. Missed an inevitable strikes again against Manchester City. A brace, and what a huge brace this could mean for the title race. Pickford has lost his mind. He's running around like a maniac, but the moment I saw Kyle Walker step outside and leave Ronaldo that space... I know I could just run through there. That's exactly what I did. And Ronaldo's driven shots are unbelievable on FIFA. Managed to drive this one with his left foot this time. And it's 2-1. And for once in this series, we're stealing away games at the dead. I remember last season, we go 1-0 up, we concede, and then we end up losing the game. This season, it's a bit different. Different vibe. 88th minute, Ronaldo gets the winner. Hopefully the game stays the same. I swear if we let City get an equaliser. Oh my god. I can't believe this man. How? How did this happen? Literally Ferran Torres out of nowhere. He should be in Barcelona anyways. I, had, I swear don't get this game. Literally from kickoff. Two passes and bang. Ferran Torres out of nowhere bangs this one in. I simply don't get it. Like, how? How? Like, oh my god. And that's full time. I seriously can't believe how we've just got a point from this. That goal was just freakish from Ferran Torres. Guys, has the Newcastle takeover happened in this series as well? Because Newcastle are fifth in the Premier League. That doesn't make too much sense. They're only a couple of points off us. Mental, but look at Spurs. They draw points as well. So the gap between us and Spurs is still two points. This Premier League title race is close as hell. Next up in the Premier League for us is Brighton at home. 
Come on, give me the win here. Let's go. Just what we need. And another Ronaldo brace. True. I kid you not. I didn't even know this guy existed at our club. Dion Sanderson. 3.3 million. Well, I'll take the cash because we've barely used them. And yeah, as I said, I'll take the cash. And we secure a big win in the conference league against Standard Lace. So should that, I think, settle our conference league spot as group winners? I think it should. We'll have a check. But top class performance even rotated the squad. Yup, that basically secures top spot for us. Like, we don't even have to play the final game. That's literally perfect. So, all we gotta do is worry about the Conference League's round of 16. We've basically secured top spot. Taking a bit of a risk, simming this game against Palace at the Selhurst Park, but they are 12th in the league, and a couple of days later, we've got Newcastle. So, it's a bit of a risk. Actually, I don't want to take this much of a risk. I'm gonna play Botman in this game. We'll still have a good back line. Let's quick sim this game, please. We need three points here to keep pace with the rest, and and that's exactly what we get, even without Ronaldo starting. Perfect. Well, that Sanderson guy has been sold. That's good for us. Guys, guys, guys. Am I seeing things? Or are we actually top of the Premier League? Um, Yeah, we are. We are top of the league. Because everyone else is dropping points. Spurs have dropped off. Man United are the only team that have played the same amount of games as us. If we win our game in hand, we're going four points clear of City. This is a big game for us. Against a very winnable Newcastle. I know they're sixth. But they're sixth and we're first. We can win this. I really like the partnership of Botman and Inacio, but for this game, gonna stick with Connor Cody as captain because he's fully fit for this one. Basically gonna use my first 11 here. I'm not messing about with it. We'll use Adama as an impact sub. We're up against the Newcastle, whose team looks pretty average. How on earth are they sixth? Maybe it's because of Lacroix being there at the back. I don't know. Let's get into it. All right, let's do this against Newcastle United. They're already on the front foot. Early chance. Pickford had to read that one well. Pedro Neto wants to Again, proving to be very crucial, looking for Conor Gallagher. Didn't really notice a difference when we put him on the right side, guys. So I'm just going to stick with this. So I guess it works. Braganza. Dribbling was nice, but it falls for... Nah, it doesn't. Good defending from Newcastle. They're looking capable, man, in these first 10 minutes. I guess there's a reason why they're in the top six. Oh, that was a very crucial intervention. But we gave it right away for Joe Willock, but Pickford with a very good save right there. As I said, Newcastle... I look in class. Pedro Neto has got to go the long way just around the defender, which he's done because he's so quick. Pedro Neto, ah, the last ditch challenge. That was incredible defending. We'll, we'll give Newcastle that because I was about to take the shot with Pedro Neto. Oh, that's a good ball and a chance for them. We defend that really well and Aitnori helps get the ball away. On a Gallagher, smart ball out wide for Francisco Trincao. His chance to prove his worth. Beats one. Looks to go on a good run. Gets taken out. No, he doesn't. He's going all the way here. Still Trincao. Great pass for Conor Gallagher. Shoots, but that was not a good effort. Fantastic run there from Trincao. Well, yeah, that was class. Ruben Neves. Braganza. Out wide for Francisco Trincao. If he can get it on his left foot. That's what I don't get with him, man. Trincao is left footed, but every time I try and cut inside with him, it almost always gets blocked. Okay, how has Kraft got this much space to work with? Newcastle inching closer and closer. How have they managed to play their way out of this situation? And nothing I could do there. Newcastle United get a well-deserved goal by Joe Willock. We're at top of the league with the chance to, you know, extend that lead massively and we're throwing it away. I know Newcastle are good, but we need to be showing what we're capable of as well. This is not the start we wanted. Oh, that's a good ball for this Mustafa guy, but Inacio does well. We can't go 2 down. My players are banging against each other. What are they doing even? Joe Willick, the goal scorer. Chance for Newcastle again. Finally, we defend that, but it's going to be half time. It's been a dreadful first half. Trincao, man, has genuinely been hopeless in this game. On comes Adam Traore. Oh, look at the space we've given away to them. Thankfully, Pickford makes a good save there, but Newcastle have just been so much better than us. Pedro Neto. That's a good ball for Cristiano. Why did I just change player from there? It literally switched the player to Adama. That cross was for Ronaldo. I'm sure I would have won the header. Unbelievable. Okay, this is positive. Looking for Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, I'm going to release it for Adama Traore. Back inside for Ronaldo. Conor Gallagher's made a good run. Who was offside there? I thought that was my moment. Braganza. Cristiano Ronaldo. Off the post. No. That was my chance. We still have an opportunity here with Braganza. What can he do? Looks inside for Conor Gallagher. First time strikes it. Dubravka saves. And they cleared it away. But we're still keeping the pressure on. 
No, we aren't, because Newcastle get away from it. This was our chance to get that goal, man. All right, here we go. Pedro Neto. Could this be the moment we're waiting for? Inside for Cristiano. <sighs> I was so slow in that instance, but Braganza still has it. I'm going to try and find Gallagher. Ronaldo has got to score, and Dubravka saves it. I can't believe this. What is my luck even? You know what? I'm going to just take the corner shot. It's just smarter to do that. Pedro Neto puts it inside Ronaldo's header. Dude, the goal is there. Where is he putting? Oh, don't know what to say. Oh, that's a good ball. How uh, is nobody offside? Huh? He was. Time is running out, man. This is such a good opportunity for us to gain a bit of ground on everyone else. And we're throwing it away. If Ronaldo can hold up that, uh, he can. Does really well there. Pedro Neto with a chance. Right foot. Goes for goal. Dubravka is nuts. Always Dubravka performs like this against me. Once again, taking the corner short and seeing what we can do with it. Pedro Neto. That was the worst cross I have ever seen. There's movement in the box, but I just couldn't get the ball to the box. Although it's Braganza now. Still fighting for it. We are, uh, it's not working. This was frustrating as hell. Like, honestly. So, so frustrating. Crazily enough, even if we win our next game, we go back top of the league. So that game against Newcastle, it's not ruined our season or anything. We can go back to the top of the Premier League if we just beat West Ham next, who are eighth in the league. That's going to be a tricky game. We have to win our next game now. Our fullbacks are looking a bit tired for this one. So we'll play Vinagre and Hoover. Apart from that, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Let me actually, for this full game, try Braganza on the left and Gallagher on the right. One more thing I want to try, which a lot of people tell me, is to put, get into the box for crosses for wingers. This actually isn't to get them to, you know, get into the box for crosses. It's to just get them a bit narrower so they can get into goal scoring positions. Let's hope it works. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Pickford has saved us there from embarrassment. He was offside anyways, but... They started the games. Why are we conceding these stupid chances? Oh, that's good ball from them. But Vinagre does really well dealing with that. But Pedro Neto, there's a place to be cheeky and there's a place to not be. And that wasn't a place to, you know, try out some skills. But anyways, it almost cost us there. But we deal with that. Francisco Trincao is very good at these diagonal through balls. And he might force an error from them. Ronaldo is pressurizing them, but he couldn't force an error. Golovin, Vlasic again. That's a crucial challenge. That we needed to make. I'm I'm so nervous about this game even. Unless we get that first goal. This is going to be a difficult one as well. Vlasic. That's a good ball and a chance. But Pickford comes up clutch again. It's been the Pickford show so far. Because we've been unable to do anything. Oh that's a lovely ball. And a chance for Golovin. He's put it far post. There's nothing I can do about it. What are we doing man? What are we doing? Oh, 1-0 down to West Ham. Something needs to change. Like, it's not working what we're doing. The issue is everything in this team comes from Ronaldo and nobody else contributes anything. I'm going to try something a bit different, making my wingers a bit narrow and just seeing if that works because we need something. I also going to put players like Braganza to get further forward and even maybe Gallagher. Let's try and overload players forward and see what that does. Ronaldo again. We need him to really step up now in this game. But it's looking very difficult. He's still on it here. Could look for that cutback. Does so. Everything is... It's, it's just not clicking right now. We're getting those chances, but we're not making the most of them. I see Trincao in space. Can we make use of this space is the real question. Trincao is quick, but there aren't many options here. He's done very well. Looks for that ball in for Ronaldo. First touch is great. Of course it gets blocked. Everything gets blocked. Oh, they've got the chance here to just kill us off now. Rafael Leao off the crossbar. That is such a relief. But the rebound. The rebound falls right back to him. Am I playing ping pong here? What's happening, man? I'm just going to go for the early cross. And if every time I cross, it literally goes to my right winger. Imagine if those crosses would go to Ronaldo. Like, would have been so nice. Oh, they've sent Rafael Leao through. I'm trying going to try and take him out. That actually worked. It's going to be a penalty. And a red card. Oh, <sighs> not even surprised. Not even surprised. We deserve it, guys. We've been that bad. I, it was a complete challenge of anger. We took him out. And yeah, it's going to be a penalty. Thomas Suchek. This is bad. Well, Pickford manages to save it. But what's the point even? Pedro Neto looking for Ronaldo. I think he's kept himself on, but he's put it wide. Full time and I'm genuinely embarrassed. We played so well against City, 
we finally put ourselves in a situation where we're one of the best teams in the in, in the league and then we pull off a couple of performances like this just embarrassing don't get me wrong we're still in the premier league title race but with results like that and if those continue to happen we won't be in the title race in the near future so we gotta pick ourselves up this is just the formality the final europa league group stage game literally just gonna play my entire second team fabio silva all of them starting then donker gibbs wide probably play Connor gallagher as well just to give ruben neves a bit of finesse but not great starts botman starts we'll play kilman we'll also play hoover we'll maybe give our backup keeper a chance as well because why not simming it whatever happens it doesn't really matter we still win let's go fabio silva brace we'll take it so we top our europa conference league group absolutely brilliant later the episode for this one maybe ronaldo just because that performance against City, he was dreadful in the next couple of games. But that performance against City, he was class. So this is where I guess I'm going to be wrapping up today's episode. Connor Cody's aggression was like the highlight of the one. And next episode, we're going to be wrapping up the month of December. And I feel this is where we'll start getting offers for our players. Next month, transfer window opens. We've got money as well. It's going to be exciting times ahead. If you're enjoying the series, drop like, subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.